182 pounds, whiteboard prediction, Sean. Another crazy weight class coming off the 170. If you didn't watch it, go back and watch it, and then come back and watch this one. Why, Sean? Why? Wow. I really think want? when I think of 182, it's just an extension of Kept 170 same to me. We talked about uh, how 170 and 182 with the kids we like. And basically the same thing. This is right. another weight class that we think has seven main principles in place. Although I think that the favorite at 182 is a little bit heavier favorite than we had at 170. But nonetheless, like I said, again, another weight class filled with guys that have been ITC fan favorites for the last two or three years that we really hope punch our ticket to uh, the shop. But we'll just have to see how this unfolds. Yes, let's check it out. Right here we have Spurgeon King, Longo Martin at your top quarter. Second quarter is Carol, Yo! Stevens, Fitzpatrick. In your second quarter, your third quarter is Deleuze, Carter, Bien, Beaver from Pick Central. And rounding it out, we have Nip, McKee, Wyrick, and Boyd. Winning your matches, we're going to have Boyd, Nip, Bien, and Deleuze in the bottom. Then we're going to have Fitzpatrick, Carroll, Longo, and Spurgeon up top. Setting ourselves up with some great quarterfinal matches at night. Boom! Hashtag starting at 8.53. Okay. Boom. I would like to put a hashtag on this Longo-Martin first match back there. Even though we do have Longo coming out in this situation, I think that's going to be a very competitive match. And I think it's a good break for Longo to catch Martin right after Wayne's where they're a little bit closer to Wade here as uh, Longo's going to move up to 82 and Martin's going to move down. So it's going to be a more fair uh, weight at that time of the day. Uh, underneath there, we got Cole, Carroll, uh, Colton Carroll against Fitzpatrick, which is a hashtag boom for sure. Boom! And I think the rest of these might be more of a uh, clear-cut favorite set. Okay. We'll move on. We'll start at the bottom here. Boyd had that big sectional win down there. We talked about 182 was the top way to walk this morning. Yes. He comes away for the champ. I can't see him squandering that situation at this point in the tournament, and we will have Boyd moving on. Boyd. Where's Boyd from? Uh, don't talk about those. Oh, old man's Ben over there in uh, Hocking County. Yes, it's licking, but that's fine. Go ahead. What about Hocking this next County one? County licking, it's all the same. Deleuze be in. Uh, Deleuze the, uh, is the favorite of this weight class. I think he's a really solid favorite himself. We're going to have Deleuze coming out. Deleuze, Lancaster. We're going to jump all the way to the top Yes, here. I like your style. Longo coming off this big win. Again, I, another boy that I just can't see blowing his uh, opportunity here, being a senior. And we're going to have Longo being a very upstart Spurgeon from Mount Vernon. I yes. believe this guy won the All-North Tournament. I kind of like this guy as a freshman last year. I think he moved up a couple weights. And he's a guy to watch in the district going forward over the next couple of years. So don't go to the concession stand. Watch this kid. This is the match they want to talk about. They this, want you to talk about. This is the match that, that's really going to be a key match in this weight class. I think these guys are both evenly balanced. I think Colton Carroll's strength against Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick is probably one of the hardest guys in the district, regardless of weight, to predict. As I've watched him wrestle a lot at Brexville, mm. Olive Tournament, and other places, I have seen him up eight or nine points in matches that I didn't think he could possibly lose and lose. Then I seen him in matches at like the, uh, the Bill D's. Bill D's, right? I honestly thought he lost and works like, no, he pinned the kid. What are you talking about? And I'm like, that's the, this guy to me. I can't figure this guy out. He wins matches I think he'd lose and he loses matches I think he should win. At this point in the career at Derby, what do you got to have? You got to have yeah. consistency. Yes, I, was I think say that. that might be the difference in this match. And I'm going Colton Carroll on his consistency. So he is a an enigma wrapped in a riddle. Oh, stop stealing my stuff. <laughs> you know, like I actually, years I years actually copyrighted that, so you owe me a dollar oh, according yeah. to the lawsuit. Got you. Those guys that uh, did not come up on the winning end are going to cross bracket over, do all this jazz and meet up with some wrestlers. That's going to what it looks like when it's coming out. Sean, let's bring these guys out to the console quarters and then uh, go there ahead. You go, boy. We're going to start here in the first round of consolation. Second round, even. Second round? Yep. Okay, and have... Uh, Warwick uh, Spurgeon. Warwick Spurgeon down there. You know, Warwick has just not been able to get any uh, rhythm going. He had some injury at the beginning of this year to a bone in his face. He wears a mask. I think it just broke up the uh, the routine for him in uh, this time. And as we talked about with Thatcher and some of those other yes. guys, when you lose time, you really get put behind the eight ball here. So we're going to have Spurgeon advancing out here. I can write that in here. Spurgeon 
Mount Vernon. And he'll be taking on... He'll be taking on the Dang. winner of Carter and Fitzpatrick. Uh, man, two guys that really could... Uh, this could be a match that could get you to the shot and steam center. It's sad that they're going to have to be decided here. Yes. I'm going with Fitzpatrick in this okay. situation with his array of, uh, array of uh, top moves and bars and throws and goofiness he's got going on. Fitzpatrick, Ole, that's going to meet them. Let's see who's got the next match. Okay, in the next match, I think Martin on day two will be the heaviest guy in this weight class. Again, he's coming down from 95. Most of these guys are moving up from 70. He is a two-time district place already. He's been in this situation before. He's going to have the confidence, and I'm going to have Martin moving on. Martin moves on. Martin, Gehanna Lincoln. What about down here? Down here, another one that I feel pretty confident in my pick as well. We're going to have Cole Fitzpatrick moving on. All right. Getting himself in the blood around here. Yeah, he is. Patrick. Olive. Now, they're going to need opponents, and we get those from these semifinal matches. Who you got moving on to the final, Sean? Ooh. Ooh well, we'll stick with theme here late in the day. Go with the We're easy go one. With Eric DeLewis here again. I think this guy could be a state finalist. He could even possibly win the state tournament. I wouldn't be shocked at all. Deleuze Lancaster, what about up there? Now we get into this semifinal rematch of the Marysville section where Nate Longo had this early lead that Cheryl slipped away, uh, chipped away at to steal the victory there late. I, you know, this is again probably two of my, and I hate to say it because there are so many favorites, probably two of the top five of my most favorite guys at this year's Derby Tournament. I love talking to both these guys about wrestling and just doings of what's going on, but in the tough spot, God, I just, I can't, you know, I'm going Nate Longo. Okay. I really just can't get Nate Longo out of my, I, my mind. Up. I just think this move to 82 was a beautiful move for him, and I think it pays off here on Saturday early afternoon to get to the shot. No problem. Carol's going to come down here and wrestle Martin. He's got 45 minutes to collect himself, gather his heart and his mind, him and Boyd both got to be ready to put it on the line as they take on their opponents. Sean? You know, when we get here to these go-to matches and these four guys, I think if these were seatable go-to matches, I think this is a pretty fair... Gotcha. I just a pretty fair as Boyd beat Martin at the... Um, the uh, sectional last week, and Carroll being the returning state qualifier would probably be seated over Fitzpatrick, who is True. not. So we'd have a 1-4 and 2-3 on that basis. But I'm going to go with Fitzpatrick to punch Ooh. the ticket. We talked about earlier in the weight classes, the kid you were last week isn't the guy you're going to be this week, and the guy you're going to be next week isn't the guy you are today. So I'm going to have Fitzpatrick fighting his way back and getting into the uh, state tournament. And then what about the top, Sean? And on the top, unfortunately, I'm going to have Martin losing and becoming a three-time district placer and never getting to the shot here as Colton Carroll moves on. That means Martin comes down, Martin Boyd. Who you got in that matchup, Sean? I'm going to have Boyd winning this. Okay. Boyd Watkins Memorial, Capuano's for you, good sir. I will have Carroll beating Fitzpatrick Gates for the second time in this tournament. Yes, uh, and what about Longo Deleuze? And I will have Deleuze winning this as, as uh, Longo probably won't even know what day it is. He's going to be so happy. I mean, this guy's another guy will probably be up for three days straight celebrating this victory here. So this is how we see 82 unfolding. It is how we see 82 unfolding. Your champ Deleuze followed by a runner-up Longo. Followed up by the third place finisher, Colton Carroll from Taze Valley. Fitzpatrick rounds out your state qualifiers. Boyd is your state ultimate, alternate. And Martin rounds out your district place winners. And now you are inside the circle.